So Gallium Label PSMA 11 uh, is a PET CT imaging probe. So it's an imaging technique that can detect where the prostate cancer cells are. Prostate cancer cells has an overexpression of a protein, which is called PSMA. And there is a new molecule that can bind to it with high affinity, high specificity. And on this molecule, we can attach a radio element such as gallium that is uh, suitable to do PET CT imaging. So you attach this gallium to the PSMA molecule, you inject it in the body, it will circulate, it will go where the prostate cancer cells are, and then you will detect it with a PET CT camera. And you will make images of where this emission of radiation uh, has been done. Depending on the cancer you're looking at, and you're, you have different types, they have different patterns, different type of metabolism, protein expression. The particularity here, we are talking, here we're talking only about prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is known to have a low glycolytic activity. It means with FDD, it doesn't work so well for several reasons. First of all, it consumes, it metabolizes glucid less than other cancers. Second, you have a lot of urinary excretion of the FDG that can kind of blurry the images around the bladder where is the prostate. So you have now a protein, PSMA, that is overexpressed at the surface cell of the prostate cancer cells. And this one is highly overexpressed by the prostate cancer cell, above uh, around 100 to 1,000 times, 1,000 folds above the normal rate. So you have this nice, tar nice target that is very specific to prostate cancer cells, not only, but highly specific. And you have now a molecule that can uh, detect where it is. So comparing to FDG, there is absolutely no comparison because FDG was not really efficient in prostate cancer cells. So now we have this new tactic that can stage the prostate cancer. So then you can imagine various indications Primary staging, when you discover your prostate cancer, you need to know if it's confined to the prostate of, or if it has spread out already. It's not the same treatment. Or in the setting of recurrence, you have treated first the prostate cancer. Unfortunately, several years later, prostate cancer comes back. You can see it with a PSA test in the blood. You see the PSA marker increase. And then you do this test, PSMA PET CT imaging, to localize where the PSMA, uh, the PSA has been, uh, has been produced, where the prostate cancer cells are, in fact.